a really young unit. Well, Phil Phil Dumar, our snapper, is a, a fifth year senior here, but um, we've been. Uh, I feel like we're good. We've been working since last year. Ever since last year, when we started here, it was me, Case in the holder, and Phil the snapper. Uh, we've been working since last year, so our routine, our, um, our uh, operations, pretty much handled down. We've been working through the summer. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, got everything ready. Pretty much, uh, I we feel confident in what we can do. How big was last year for you being here and watching Dustin go through through everything and learning from that? Uh, it was big. Uh, you might, I might, like, outside you can't you can't really tell like oh this 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 and that. But uh, I learned a lot of little stuff from him, little questions I always used to ask like Dustin, why do you do this? Dustin, why do you do that? Uh, a lot of that helped me in the in the what how I should prepare for a game and you know for practice or for anything and how to uh, carry myself in the game and stuff but um a lot a lot of stuff that I, I learned from him is, is key this year what was the spring game like for you your first opportunity to go out there on the field and kick uh it was uh it was fun uh, I came out uh, I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit nervous uh, it was my first time going on the field you know Dustin's not here anymore this is my I was a starter, so first year, first uh, kick I came, I went out there, a little jitters. I, I pushed it a little, uh, I pushed it right, but after that, Jimbo told me to calm down. You know, just do it how we do it at practice. I, I don't miss at practice, and uh, I just told myself just do the kicks that you do at practice. And so I made I made the next five, and uh, I felt confident in myself and kickoffs and and all that. Fans saw it. Uh, you got quite a leg. You made the 58 yarder. Yeah. On obviously wind and, and field conditions could change things mm -hmm. but what, what would you say it, on a typical day what is your range uh typical day it depends i'd go out there and see how the wind is uh see see how the conditions are but um usually i'd say get it to the 35 get the ball to the 35 coach uh, that's a 53 yarder 53 to 54 yarder but um if if we have to go back and it's needed 55 60 60 that's that's probably my range right there and if 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 it's a halftime and we're up by like twenty, if the coach wants to try a sixty three, sixty four, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Now you get to watch him a lot because you guys are together. How, how's Kaysen looked uh, this year compared to to last year? And do you see a difference in confidence level with him as well? Big difference, big difference. Uh, I remember last year coming in, the first game. Obviously, he was a, he was a. This is going to be his first year last year. And I knew I wasn't playing, but I, I, the first game he came out there, I could see the jitters in his face, uh, real nervous. Uh, and I told him, calm down, Kaysen, you know, you can't let the pressure get to you. And uh, this year, I feel like that's out of the picture. Uh, he's real confident. We've worked all through uh, off season in the summer, working on uh, steps, operation, uh, consistency in his drops. And that's what I feel like he's, he's, gotten, uh, he's gotten better at, uh, his consistency in punts. They're a lot, a lot more farther. A lot, a lot more hang time on them, and uh, less, less shanked. You should say his bat hits are still good kicks. You know, forty yards, four zero. So uh, it should be a big year for him this year. All right, three seconds left. Several's down two. You want that moment? Yeah. Uh, we always, I always, me, Phil, and uh, Casey always practice for it. Uh, at the at the end of every kicking session, we we'll always practice a game winner or the clock running down like ten, nine, eight. And he'll count down, and we'll run out on the field and uh, do it. So, um, I gotta tell Jimbo to get me in some pressure situations at practice, uh, and to get me ready for that, because I want I want to be ready for that for that moment. I know it'll it's gonna come eventually, but um, I want to be ready for that, and I'm excited, and uh, I'm, I want that to happen. For for those guys out in Dallas who who aren't seeing it firsthand, how hard are you are you guys working out there right now? Uh, Special teams or the whole the whole team in general. The whole team in general. Oh man, it's 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 hard. You know, camp camp's always a hard hard thing to go through. It's three weeks. Uh, pretty much you pretty much live in the in, here in the stadium and stuff. But uh, we are working hard. I, I go out there after I'm done with my kicking and stuff. People might not think uh, it's re it's really not a hard job, you know, but it, it's more it's more the mind uh, working on little little technique stuff, kickoffs, onside kicks. But uh, I I watch the the offensive linemen, the wide receivers, the quarterbacks, all of them, like, they, they do a lot. Dude. I, I, especially yesterday at scrimmage, I could see them uh, um, in the indoor, and uh, it's, a, it's a tough thing to do. So we, we are working hard, and it's going to pay off during the season.